Hello everybody, I'm Jason Burt with Macomb Township Government Access and this is your Macomb Township News. With the general election coming up on Tuesday, November 6th, the Macomb Township Clerk's Office would like to remind residents there's information available to you if you need it before Election Day. If they're a registered voter in the township, I, I encourage them to go to our website. We have um, a plethora of information that is involved for the November 6th election. You can pull up candidate information. You can track your ballot. Um, anything that you possibly need is located on our website page. Or they can simply contact our office and we'd be happy to help them with any questions with regards to their precinct location, their polling location, anything like that. So we're available for them um, to answer any of their questions. There's a good turnout expected at the polls, so make sure you get out early and vote on Tuesday, November 6th. With Halloween coming up, the Macomb Township Fire Department would like to remind our residents of some of the dangers to be aware of. So a couple issues that we'd like our residents to keep in mind, especially around Halloween time, are a few things that we've identified over the years as, as potential problems. So especially with trick-or-treating going on, all of the traffic that we have in the area, we'd like to remind parents to maybe have a flashlight or a glow stick to have their kids take out with them when they go trick-or-treating so that they're visible if they're in the streets or in the sidewalks. Uh, another uh, kind of holiday hazard that we notice is people like to use a lot of dry things like hay, corn stalks and those kind of things around Halloween time for decorations, which are great. We just like to remind them to keep ignition sources such as electrical things, lights, um, you know, spotlights, decorative lighting, any kind of electrical uh, wiring or anything like that. Keep those things out of the way and away from those decorations uh, as possible ignition sources. Uh, another thing we'd like to remind uh, our parents about, you know, if you have kids that are younger, uh, make sure that they're supervised. Make sure that kids are traveling in larger groups with older siblings especially would probably be helpful. Um, and if parents have any questions or uh, they have any concerns, they can always go to our website, look up some holiday tips that we have online. And on, of course, they can always give us a call here at the fire department. We'd be happy to answer any questions that they have. The Macomb Township website is www.macomb-mi.gov. You can click on the fire department to view more information. Speaking of Halloween, the Macomb Township Parks and Recreation Department held its annual Halloween Hoopla event at the Rec Center on Friday, October 19th. And once again, it was a huge success. It's always a lot of fun. Um, wish we could accommodate more people. We had to turn away a lot of people this year. We sold out record time really within uh, the first week of September. So people love this event. You know, we just um, shut down a little early and we kind of set up the whole day. We've been, of course, getting ready for this for weeks. Um, a lot of coordination with sponsors and our trick or treat trail and our vendors, our independent contractors, just to get everything in order. Um, it, it's a lot that goes into a two and a half hour party, but um, everyone appreciates it and enjoys it, so it's all worthwhile. Leading into other events now as we get into November and December, that leads into all the holidays. So what do you guys got coming up as far as the holidays? Yes, um, it will be our 14th annual holiday tree lighting and afterglow. Uh, that is going to be Tuesday, November 27th, the first uh, Tuesday right after Thanksgiving. Um, that's a wonderful event. Um, we uh, have the snow globe here again and a unique feature that a lot of families love. We'll start outside with Santa and some caroling, come inside for um, cookies, hot chocolate, crafts, um, and uh, of course Santa visits. So it's a lot of fun and it's all free thanks to our great sponsors. We have our Santa Jingle Bell Brunch um, December 9th, and tickets are selling quickly for that. Um, so anyone wanting to go should call the front desk, see if there's any left. But uh, that's another really fun, interactive event for the kids, and uh, so we're looking forward to that as well. From all of us here at MTGA, we would like to wish everyone a safe and happy Halloween. And don't forget to mark your calendars for the tree lighting ceremony on Tuesday, November 27th. As we approach the holidays, it's easy to deviate from diet plans. The Clinton Macomb Public Library will host a seminar on Tuesday, November 6th at 7 p.m. at the main branch in Clinton Township to help those looking to eat healthier this holiday season. A representative from Henry Ford Macomb Hospital will discuss ways to enjoy the holidays without overindulging. You need to register for this seminar and you can do so by calling 586-226 5050 or by visiting www.cmpl.org. High school football is entering the postseason and we have a few local teams that have a chance to make some noise this year. It's an all Mac red district as Chippewa Valley who won the red and is still unbeaten at 9 and 0 will host rival Eisenhower in the first round. Dakota finished 7 and 2 and will host Romeo in their first playoff game 
And as you can see, if both win their first game, they could once again meet in a district final. We want to wish all of our teams good luck as they make a run at Ford Field. The most up-to-date information for everything that pertains to Macomb Township can be found on the website, www.macomb-mi.gov. This has been your Macomb Township News.